All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. This is the sound studio, and on the table in front of me, I've got a really cool tripod set up for precision long-range shooting, and this is from the guys over there at Death X Squad, deathxsquad.com. Anyway, we're going to be using this guy right here to demonstrate the usefulness of the Live Free Armory 6.5 Creedmoor build that we did with our up mash upper and lower receiver set as well as the handguard and using the uh, Hitman Industries uh, 65 Creedmoor barrel. And it's going to be interesting because we're going to use 140 grain, 147 grain, 130 grain from different manufacturers and see how those line up with the Apollo reticle from the guys over there at Primary Arms. So it's going to be interesting as well as we've got a couple other optics we're going to be doing reviews on. Catching up on all my optic stuff as well as we're going to be trying to break out the Rare Breeze trigger and uh, seeing how that works out with a CMMG Banshee in 45 ACP. So anyway, what are we doing here? We're talking about me going on vacation and coming back and finding out that for some reason, our, our, our rights, our constitution, amendments to the constitution are not absolute. That I guess that the government can go ahead and make changes as they see fit to themselves on the guise of safety. But in any case, watching this crap go on, it was I was speechless. Uh, first of all, it's being performed and uh, executed by a guy who can't even pronounce ATF. For some reason, it's called the AFT. And then he uh, nominates a guy named Chipman, who's notorious for this thing out there in Waco, Texas, as well as being big on the Giffords uh, deal with the anti-gun folks. So why would you nominate somebody who's so anti-gun, so one-sided? But that's the way they are. The leftists, they've always been against firearms. They don't care what it takes because to you or to them, you or myself, we are potential criminals as long as you have a firearm. There's no defense part about it. They look at it as that you as a law-abiding citizen, and I know Freedom Inc., you talk about law-abiding citizen. What exactly is a law-abiding citizen? What well, is somebody who doesn't go out and break the damn law? Period. As long as you're not breaking the law, you should be have, able to have a firearm. Uh, it's already illegal to kill somebody. It's already illegal to traffic firearms. It's already illegal to manufacture firearms and sell them without having an FFL. So what we got? <laughs> he wants to go back and make, uh, what do you call it, AR-15 pistols, uh, an NFA item. So that means that, uh, well, many people are going to end up being criminals. I don't think that's going to pass. It's not going to pass for me, but through an executive action, he can give direction to the ATF to figure out a means and methods to make this happen so that you and me become a criminal. Secondly, ghost guns. Before we get into the ghost gun things, I want to just go ahead and let's, let's bring up old Kevin DeLeon talking about a ghost gun. Stand by. And you can create this illegal weapon. This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 magazine clip in half a second. Now that right there, ladies and gentlemen, just shows the ignorance of what happens when you allow a politician, especially one from California, to go ahead and start jumping in on the gun control game. Absolutely disgusting. And even further, let's see what he says about this high-performance sniper rifle because all the people who said that, oh, Biden's not going to take your guns. Don't worry about that. Well, he's coming after your high-performance sniper rifles next. Which is an automatic sniper weapon that is used by our troops in the military in Afghanistan. Again, this is a weapon, is a ghost gun. Now, whether, be these, whether they be semi-automatic or bolt action, they are one thing. They are all weapons of war. Muskets were weapons of war. So anybody who uses that termination, determination, nomenclature, weapon of war is full of shit. 
Your home-built firearms have always been legal, always have been and should always be legal for you to go ahead and manufacture your own firearm for your own use. The point is, is these individuals, even though they're 80% and nobody wants to cares about that, well, I don't care about 80% lower, but what you will care about is when they go ahead and they kill all online sales because that's going to be on board next. Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening to our country right now is a transformation because these individuals have nobody to stop them. Call your congressman, call your senator. Guns and Gadgets is doing a really cool video on how to contact these people because that is one of the ways we have to battle this. So anyway, here we are. Sitting here looking at a guy with translucent skin who can barely carry a conversation. We know he's not in charge. For some reason, uh, ha ha Kamala Harris is always by his side waiting for him to drop, as he soon will, most likely. But in any case, those are my two cents. Leave your two cents down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I leave the country, and look what happens. All hell's breaking loose. KB32. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. I'm really looking forward to getting out and testing this thing. And guess what? It's not made in China. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.